when you take the end with the holes and you put it inside a wound, and when you sew it up around it tight, if there's fluid in that wound, this should draw it out of there. So if you have something that may ooze a little bit, or if you had a appendix or a lap coli just look disastrous in there and be everywhere, and they've had to irrigate it and they're at risk of infection, they may leave a drain to kind of drain that off. So if you squeeze this, get all the air out of it, but you can, put this, and then put this cap on, it creates suction down the other end where the little holes are. So then you should be drawing fluid out. So if this was in a wound and it had blood residually in, in the wound, or it had something that was going to leak a little bit, you had irrigation or anything you wanted to pull out of the wound, you can leave a drain in and it's going to pull it up out of there. So this is an active drain because it's acting as suction, where a passive drain is just passively letting it flow out on its own accord. So as you can see, this is how your drain works. So active drain, JP, Jackson Pratt, or Hemovac drain, also active because it's acting as suction as it wants to expand this back out into its original form and pull the fluid in here. Pa passive drain, Penrose.